everybody welcome back to epic beauty fail i'm jessica and on today's video i'm going to be showing you all the items that i have bought recently actually during the month of february i think they're all in february i don't think i bought anything back in january um i've been trying to buy a little bit less but i think i'm addicted <laughs> No, in all honesty, I did actually buy a couple things in January because I bought some ColourPop stuff. So I bought some things from ColourPop, some BH Cosmetics, uh, some things from Ulta, some things from TJ Maxx, and then I think I bought one thing from Marshalls. So this is just my haul. I've actually picked up just like the TJ Maxx and Marshall stuff over the last day or so, two days, something like that. And um, all of the uh, other stuff I purchased and ordered through the mail. So it came uh, through the mail a little bit while longer. So I'm going to actually start with all the items that I bought from TJ Maxx and Marshalls. And then I'll go into the stuff that I got from BH Cosmetics, ColourPop and Ulta. So <clears throat> I'm going to start with the only, I only got one thing from Marshalls. Everything else here in front of me is from TJ Maxx. I did take it out of the bag just so that it would be easier to touch and show you guys. Uh, but the first item is this Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Kit in the color Fair. So there is the packaging and the back. And you can see there that the Marshall's price was, I believe, $18.99. Yes, it was. So this is one item that I'm a little bit nervous about, and honestly, I might return. Um, I did check it out in the store, but it does not appear that there are any fingerprints on the product anywhere. So it looks like it's brand new and clean, which is always a concern in at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. Um, but this is the one item that I am most concerned about just because cream contour scares me very much so so this might get returned i'm not sure yet i'm thinking about it trying to decide but i went to marshall's first because the marshall's in my area usually has a better selection than the tj maxx does but um they actually had this at, at tj maxx as well i will also say there was one item at uh, Marshall's that I looked at and I thought about and didn't pick up. It was the Casey Holmes highlighter palette that she did as a collaboration. I'm drawing a blank on the company, but um, I didn't pick that up because it looked like it was like the darker side, the more golden side for like a medium skin tone. And I wasn't sure how it would look on my skin. So I decided not to pick that up from Marshall's. So that is the only thing I picked up at Marshall's. I did go to two different TJ Maxx's. I have one in my town and then there's one about 20 minutes away that's actually close to my office. So I did go to two different TJ Maxx's. Um, the first thing I did pick up was this right here. I don't normally buy masks, but uh, John's been having some issues with his skin and he does get very dry. So I saw this. It was only $4.99. So I decided to pick it up. It's from Global Beauty Care. It's a hydrating gel mask. And it does have the, the thing that really threw me over the edge was this right here, the gel applicator. Or I'm sorry, the... Um, what is that called mask applicator it's just like a silicone uh brush and i did pick this up and there's the price tag there on the bottom it is like i said 4.99 i think that picks up so um could i probably try this in an upcoming face mask with john i don't know we'll see this might go back as well because of his his sensitive skin that he's having right now he's having allergies um if that doesn't get cleared up soon, he's working with his doctor, but if that doesn't get cleared up soon, I might just take this back. I think I have 30 days to return it. So I might take that back if, if his skin doesn't get cleared up soon. All right, what next? Uh, I think I'll move on to this next. I got this at TJ Maxx. It is a Bite Discovery set and it has four products in it. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out of the sleeve. It does have a little sleeve here. And the four products are a Deluxe Line and Define Primer, a Matte Cream Lip Crayon, a, Mu a Mousse Bouche Lipstick in Beetroot, and the Deluxe Agave Lip Mask. Now, I'm not sure if it's the full-size lip mask, but <clears throat> this was $24.99, the whole, the whole kit. This, this whole thing was $24.99. There is the price tag right there. And it came with the four products. So it does have, this is the, the lip mask does not want to stay in. So this is the, the lip mask. It is 0.18 ounces, but I've heard really, really amazing things about this, which is 
part of the reason why I actually picked this this whole kit up is because of that right there. This is the Amuse Bouche lipstick in Beetroot. It's just a very deep, vampy red color. This is like old school Jessica. I would have worn this back when I was like 20. I'm gonna try it. And then the this is the lip crayon in Leche, which I thought was a pretty color. It's just like a pinky nude color. And then the last thing in here is the hardest item to get out. I could not, like I checked the other three items just to make, su make sure that they weren't opened. This one, I cannot get out of the package. Bear with me here for a second. There it goes. All right, so this is the Line and Define Lip Primer. There it is. It's just a clear um, lip liner. So that was nice to see. I think that that Agave Lip Mask is quite exciting. I've looked at it a couple times on Sephora. Actually, let me look that up real quick because that is the whole reason why I bought this kit and I'm hoping that it was a good value. So hang on one second while I look this up. Okay, so the full size of this is 0.52 and this is 0.18. I'm not gonna do the math. What is that, about a quarter-ish, somewhere in there? And it is $26 for the full size. So a full size of this is, um, is more than the price of this whole box. And this is a full size lipstick. I'm fairly certain it's 0.15 ounces. I'm pretty sure that's a full size. All right, so a full size of this is 0.15. So this is the full size and a full size is $26. So this alone is more than the price of this kit. So I thought that was a pretty good buy. Like I said, I bought it for the lip mask primarily, but I will definitely use the other products as well. So moving on, otherwise this video is gonna take forever and a day. Uh, I did pick up this here from Bare Minerals. It is the Beauty Resolution Trio of Fresh Face Essentials. This uh, price was $14.99. Okay, and this has some products in it. It was wrapped up. I actually unwrapped it just to make sure that it wasn't destroyed or anything because if you've ever shopped for makeup in TJ Maxx, you understand. All right, so it did come with this blush in Trendsetter. It is not opened, which is thankfully good. It is like a dark reddish tone. It came with a full size, I believe it's a full size, Gen Nude Radiant Lipstick. And this is in the color Honey Bun. Honey Bun, yeah. Which is that right there. And the last item in here is just an eyeshadow duo. It's the Overachiever with the colors Schmooze and Get Ahead. Now I will say this, if you look at the back here, those are the colors that they say it's in here. But when you open it, that does not look like the same colors. So maybe that's why uh, this is actually in TJ Maxx, it's possible that the colors were wrong, so they put it in here. So there was that little kit for $14.99. All right, the next thing I got was this little uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick set. It did sell for $14.99. And it has three liquid lipsticks in it. They are the colors, let's see. Dazed, Bittersweet, and Hudson. So this one is Dazed, this is Bittersweet, and this is Hudson. So I don't think I have any Anastasia uh, liquid lipsticks. They're kind of a moussey texture. I've, not, I've never tried uh, the Anastasia lipsticks before. So there we are. I got three of those in a smaller size, which is always nice because you know, you don't need a full size size lipstick most of the time. If I could buy minis in just about everything, I would. Because 
I personally will never go through a full size lipstick. So unless I like really try. Okay. The next item, I actually saw this, this item, this item was making me mad. So I did get an Aurora glow kit from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I went to two T to the Marshalls, the T the first TJ Maxx, and then finally the second TJ Maxx. This did retail for $24.99. There's the price right there. And in the Marshalls and the first TJ Maxx, the shade right here, which is Lyra or Lyra, was crushed in every single palette. So there were three of these in Marshalls, one of them in the first TJ Maxx, and all four of them, this shade was crushed. So I'm gonna be very careful with this glow kit because I am very concerned that that is gonna get crushed. Um, this is this is pretty much what drew me out to go shopping in TJ Maxx and Marshalls here because um, I've seen a couple other videos. I haven't actually watched the videos, the uh, uh, other people's haul videos, but that was in their thumbnail. So I really wanted to go check that out. All right, I bought three Anastasia single shadows. This one is in the color Smoke. This one is Icy and this one is Topaz. They were $3.99 a piece. Um, I don't believe they've been touched. There was uh, one other one that actually one shadow that I did see that had, you could actually see it through the, the plastic, like a fingerprint in it. These look like they haven't been touched. I did not open them yet though. So I picked up two Anastasia liquid lipsticks. They did have some glosses and lipsticks. These were both $6.99 and I got them in the color Naked and Seraphine. So I now have five Anastasia lipsticks. I hope I like the formula. Otherwise, they're going to have to go back. These ones, at least. I did just swatch that other one. Uh, but this is a pretty color. It's just a very, very, very nude um, so there's that. And then the Seraphine color. This one I was on the fence on because it's a red, but I thought it was like just a little bit of a different red color. So I thought that that might look nice. We'll see. So I will try out the minis and make sure that I like the formula before I use these and take those back. So, all right, and then I get, did get one other lipstick. This is from Lipstick Queen. It is, this is my first Lipstick Queen product. This is uh, Vesuvius Liquid Lips. And that's what the package looks like. And it does have a brush tip. I don't know that I have another lipstick that has a brush tip. So this is the color Candy, which on the bottom there looks like a bright pink color. Uh, yeah. So I knew it wasn't used because it is a brush tip and there's nothing on it. So I will try that out. Like I said, this is my first Lipstick Queen product. But it is supposed to be like this bright pink color. There was a couple other shades that didn't, didn't, draw me in uh, other than that one. So, oh, and then one other thing that I did get, I'm looking around my table, I think this is it from TJ Maxx and Marshalls, was this uh, Makeup Forever full size aquamatic eyeliner. This is a black eyeliner, I do believe, but it was $5.99. There's the price right there. So although, although I don't use liquid eyeliner very often, I figured for $5.99 for a full-size Makeup Forever, I could throw this in a giveaway or just use it. It looks like it might almost be sparkly. I don't know. I don't want to open it right now. So there's that. So some of those things might go back. Some of them, most of them I'm probably going to keep. The contour kit I'm very concerned about. Uh, some of the other stuff I'm, I'm, up in the air on like the bare minerals item i'm kind of up in the air on just because that that uh, eyeshadow shade wasn't what it was supposed to be so that might go back i don't know we'll see we'll see i'm gonna take a look at them like i said i just bought everything yesterday and the day before over the last two days so i'm gonna take a look at them and see what i think so on to the next box so i do have everything in the ulta box that i got from ColourPop. Ulta and BH Cosmetics. So I'm going to start with the items I got from ColourPop. So um, Kathleen Light's 
her birthday is in January and she partners a lot with ColourPop. She's done it many times and she had like all of like her favorite products and she, I think they had like, I think it was 25% off. So I did get some of the products. These actually are on my face today. Some of them. I picked up two uh, lippy sticks one in the color Aquarius, which is what is on my lips right now. And then one in Lumiere. And the Lumiere one is matte. The um, Aquarius is a cream. And this is really comfortable. So this, I'm going to put them up side by side because they are not that different. So the pinkier one is Lumiere and the nudier one is um, Aquarius. So the one on this side, on the right, this side over here is Lumiere and this one is Aquarius. So there are those. And then I also was very curious about their, their eyeshadow palettes. I actually don't own anything from ColourPop. This is the first time I'm buying stuff. So this is actually what I have on my eyes today. It's the Dream Street Kathleen Lights um, and ColourPop collaboration. Um, I went with just a more neutral look, but you could do some really nice, nice, pretty looks on here. The only reason why I didn't is because after I filmed today, I'm pretty sure I'm going to the grocery store. So these are the colors and you can do some really neat looks with that. I think, like I said, I'm going to the grocery store and I didn't want people looking at me kind of weird. So eh, whatever. All right. The other eyeshadow palette that I did pick up is All I See Is Magic, which I think might have been one of their holidays for 2017 holiday palettes. But this was one of her favorites as well. And I think most of these have a shimmer to them. Looks like there's one, two, three, four, five mattes out of 15. So there they are. It's, again, very, very pretty colors absolutely gorgeous um i haven't tried this one yet yeah this was a holiday palette so anyhow there are the four items i picked up from ColourPop. then i picked up some items from bh cosmetics i'm gonna put the color pop stuff aside all right, so I had gotten an email that I could get 35% off the entire website at BH Cosmetics, so I jumped on that. And I decided to go ahead and buy a full face worth of products. So I am gonna be doing a full face first impressions of these products. I have used a couple of BH Cosmetics products before. I do own uh, two eyeshadow palettes from them and I do own an eyeliner, a pot eyeliner from them. I think that might be it think. So anyhow, I did go ahead and buy a bunch of products. Oh, brushes. I own brushes from them as well. And those are ones that I do use pretty often. So anyway, I did buy a full face of products. Um, and actually I got all of these products for under $50. So I got a pretty good deal. I personally think the biggest item I got was the Zodiac palette. Um, I've seen a lot of YouTubers now. They were using this back in like October, November time period, but this is beautiful. I'm going to open it up. If you haven't seen it, it does have a mirror on the back, but this is beautiful. Let me take that plastic off. So oh, there we go. Um, so you're not getting a glare, but um, there it is. It has got some gorgeous colors. I'm very excited to give that a try. It's got the, the inner ring is all mattes and the outer ring is all shimmers. So very excited about that. It's absolutely gorgeous as far as I'm concerned. And then moving on, um, I know I saw a couple people on YouTube getting the individual blush palettes, like the 12, I think it's 12 pan blushes, 12 pan contours, 12 pan highlighters. I don't need all that because I have enough of those things. I did not need 18 more of those items. So I went with this one. This is the Nude Rose Sculpt and Glow Palette. This is a little bit older. I think it's from either last summer or last spring, but it is just a, it has all of them. It has powders, contours, bronzers, blushes, 
uh, highlighters. So it's got a banana powder, a, a highlighter, a actually two highlighters, two highlighters right here and right here. These are contour and bronzer colors, a banana powder and a blush. So I just went with this because this was really all I needed. Even though it's a little bit older of a product, I didn't need 18 pans of more makeup. Lord knows I have plenty. Okay. Next I got, I just got a setting spray. This is the BH Studio Pro setting spray. Actually what I thought was neat is how it came. It came in a bottle and then the spritzer came like separately in the package. So I thought that was kind of neat. I don't know if that's uh, to try to minimize leaking. I don't know. So that was, uh, I picked that up. Don't really need more setting spray, but I wanted to do a full face. This was my goal was to do a full face. I picked up these. I've never tried these before and they intrigued me. So this is part of their Illuminate by Ashley Tisdale uh, line. Um, these are just little individual eyelashes. And I think these were on sale for like $2 or something like that. I got a lip liner and a lipstick. I got the liner in the color Samantha and the lipstick in the color Faithful. Now they looked like they would be a um, good match online, but they are a little bit off. The Samantha color is a little bit more pinky and the Faithful color is a little bit more red, but I'm going to give them a try and hopefully they will work together. I also got a matte finish pressed powder. This is, I believe, in translucent. Let's see. Oh, it's no, this one actually has a shade. This is shade 205, which is very pale. I have a feeling that that is probably going to have some flashback. But we'll see. It does have a mirror on it, which is kind of nice. And does it, have, does it have a brush? It has a sponge in the bottom. So there it goes. It does have a sponge in the bottom. I was not expecting that. All right, so then two more things. I got the uh, BH Cosmetics uh, Liquid Foundation, Naturally Flawless Liquid Foundation in the color 201 Ivory. This was their lightest color. It didn't seem very light to me, so I'm very anxious to get this popped open see how light it is because this looked dark online oh wow okay that looks way lighter than it did online way lighter than it did online so yeah okay that actually uh sets me at ease a little bit it does come with a pump which is nice i think this is only like five or six dollars something like that so that's pretty cool. Um, I will be doing this probably for an April foundation review. So this first impression look, you won't see until like April because I'll, I'll, I'll do this with uh, everything else in April. And then I got the BH Cosmetics, again, I can't stop saying that, Precision Sponge. I thought this kind of looked neat. Uh, I know there was a Morphe one that was similar to this that was red, but they discontinued that I believe. This feels very hard. But I liked that it had the little point on the top. So I will give that a try when I do this uh, first impressions video. My favorite sponge right now is the Flower Beauty sponge and that is super soft. So that's everything I got from BH Cosmetics. As if it's not enough, it's plenty. Yeah. All right, moving on to the items that I actually got from Ulta. I'm gonna go ahead and pull some of these out. So the first item that I did pick up is the Benefit Bad Gal Bang mascara. Uh, if you've watched Tuesday's video, you saw me put this head to head up against five other mascaras. If you haven't seen that video, go back and take a look. This is just the empty box. I actually have the mascara in my uh, makeup collection already, and it is what is on my eyes today. So yeah, if you're interested, take a look at that video. Next, I have the uh, e.l.f. Mad for Matte. This is the Mad for Matte 2. This is uh, their eyeshadow palette. Um, I actually did also pick up this month from Target. I got the Mad for Matte 1. I guess they were switching out. A, a lot of the stores right now are switching out their their lines to the new newer lines for 
uh, the spring. And the Mad for Matte 1 palette was on clearance for $5. So it was 50% off. And this is the Mad for Matte 2. Actually, let me grab that real quick. So this is the 1 and this is the 2. This is 1, this is 2. So I got this one at Target, the Mad for Matte 1, and the Mad for Matte 2 I picked up at Ulta both of this month. This one I paid $5 for at Target, and then the Mad for Matte 2 I did... Uh, uh, th this uh, this purchase, I, I actually had a 20% off coupon. So I was able to get all of the uh, stuff I purchased at Ulta for 20% off. All right. Next item in here. I've actually used this a couple times. This is the Persona uh, eyeshadow palette. I don't think it has a name. I think... This is just their first, oh, it's the Identity palette, I'm sorry. I've actually used this several times already and I really do like it. I picked it up because um, I, I looked at it, I thought that it might be a little bit overpriced for what you get, but I saw a Jam Beauty video. Uh, I do follow her on uh, some of the socials and she said that she actually loves this palette, that she was gonna take this the next time she traveled. It was one of her current favorites and I was like, okay, I'll give it a try. And I do actually really like this palette. I've used it since I got it. I think I've used it like three or four times, which is a lot for me. I usually, because I have so many eyeshadow palettes, because that's what I really get drawn to and I buy a lot of, um, I do uh, try to use different palettes often. Uh, so a lot of the times what I'll do is I'll walk over to my makeup collection and I'll just look through my drawers and pick something out I haven't used in a while. So for me to have just gotten that a couple weeks ago or like a week ago and I've used it like three or four times, I do like that. All right. I have three, three more items from Ulta. Uh, the next item you'll actually see in March. This is going to be one of my March found foundation reviews. This is the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. This is a pricey foundation, but again, I got it uh, 20, with a 20% off coupon. I probably would not have bought this had I not had the 20% off coupon. So this is in the color Mont Blanc. It's the L2 color. It is one down from the top shade. Um, so again, like I said, this, this you'll actually see coming up here very soon. I've already filmed that video, um, but you'll see it in another week and a half. So the NARS foundation. I also picked up the Tooth, Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder. I do have the Sweet Peach Powder and I have actually used this once. I used it in a video that I filmed just a, a day or two ago. Um, this, uh, I now have both the Sweet Peach as well as this one and they're both milled about the same. But I'll tell you that I enjoyed this one a little bit better just because that one has the uh, peach scent to it. But they're both pretty good. I, I like them both. And then the last thing I purchased, actually, I believe I saw this in one of Jam Beauty's videos as well, which is why I picked it up. And I might return it because I don't know how much use I'm going to get out of it. But is this VOA uh, Beauty Designs High Resolution Compact Mirror with Bright LED Lights. It's foldable and travel sized. I believe... I believe this is the one she had, but what she, I was watching one of her, um, tr like packing for travel or makeup you pack for travel kind of a video. And she, her recommendation was to have one of these that, you know, you like, because, um, you never know what you're going to get in a, uh, hotel as far as the lights go. So it does, I'm going to shine it up to the ceiling, but it does have these little LED lights and it's a nice mirror, but I, I do. And the, the, this mirror is normal. This one is magnifying. So it is a nice mirror. Um, I don't know that I want to see all my imperfections, <laughs> but I do have issues sometimes in hotels where the lighting is just really bad and in like the mirrors in the bathroom and stuff. And uh, you don't necessarily always have a mirror in the uh, the room part of the hotel. So I don't know, I picked this up. This might go back. I'm not real sure on this one. It was only like, I think it was, it retails for 10 and then I had 20% off. So it was like $8. So I don't know, this one I'm gonna think about. 
So that is everything I bought. Bought it at a lot of different places. Uh, tried to get as much of a discount as I could on everything. Uh, BH Cosmetics is a, not sponsored by any of these, but BH Cosmetics is a more um, economical brand, as is ColourPop. Uh, if you've ever seen any of their products, they are very um, reasonably priced as well. Um, pretty much the only thing that really, pretty much the only thing that was really super expensive was the NARS foundation. But yeah, this is a long one. Sorry about that. Anyhow, I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up down below. If you haven't already and you would like to be, please hit the red subscribe button and don't forget to hit the little bell to notify you when I do upload new videos. And I am getting very close to 300 subscribers. I did buy one other thing from Ulta that I did not show you in the haul video today because it is going to be part of my 300 subscriber giveaway. So stay tuned for that. It's hopefully coming sometime in March. I'll be hitting the 300 mark and I'll be putting out a giveaway video uh, so that I can reward you guys who do come back and watch me on a regular basis. So uh, anyhow, stay tuned for that. So you'll see that last item that I did purchase that I did not put in my uh, video here today. And uh, anyway, I if you have any comments, leave those in the comment section down below. Have you bought anything new recently that you would absolutely recommend that I check out? Let me know that as well. I know I've gotten some recommendations for like Juvia's Place before, and I just haven't checked that out yet. Um, I do try to buy most of my, my makeup from either Ulta Sephora or like Beautylish. Uh, the ColourPop, I was able to use PayPal, which was nice. And the BH Cosmetics, I was able to use PayPal. And I've used, I've purchased from them before. Um, but trying to keep track of all my logons for all my websites, for ever, all these different makeups, it's, it's a little daunting. <laughs> so anyhow, I do hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you on the next Epic Beauty Fail. Bye.